What's up, people? Welcome back to Insider Guide's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss three things that you can do when you're applying for jobs on LinkedIn that will increase your chances to get your dream job. This is the second video out of the three video series that teaches you everything that you need to know about LinkedIn as an international student in Australia. So let's get started. Before we get started, if you want to learn about how to create a perfect LinkedIn profile, what are the things that you should add on your LinkedIn profile, then we have created another video. I will give the link in the description below. Watch that video and then come back to this video when you're applying for jobs, because it is really important that when you apply for jobs on LinkedIn, you have a perfect LinkedIn profile first. And if you find any value out of this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Getting back to the video. The first thing that you can do right now to improve your chances to get your dream job is edit the skills and endorsement section on your LinkedIn profile. What LinkedIn does is that it will check all the skills that you have put in this section and accordingly, it will suggest all the jobs that are relevant to these skills. Similarly, all the people who are looking for right candidates, they will get the profiles of all the candidates who have those skills in their profile. So for example, if you're looking for a job in marketing, it is really important that you have skills such as digital marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, all the things that you know how to do or the things that you are learning right now, add those skills in your profile so that you get suggested the right jobs and your profile gets suggested to people who are looking for a right candidate. The second thing that you can do is always message the person who has posted that job when you are applying for a job. Now, the goal is to go above and beyond compared to other people who are applying for the same job. You don't want to be one of those 100 or 200 people who have just clicked on easy apply or have just sent their CV or resume and cover letter to the email ID that is given there. You want to go above and beyond. So always message introducing yourself and the skill set you have to the person who has posted that job. Also, you can add people in that company who are in a similar roles or managerial roles in that company just to introduce yourself. Not necessarily they are going to respond to you, but it is really important that you introduce yourself because if someone notices your profile, then your chances to get that job increases drastically. So always message the person who has posted the job and couple of people in the same company introducing yourself. Before we get into the third point, if you find any value out of this video, hit that like button, write in the comment section, what are some other topics that you would like to learn about? And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Moving to the third and very important point, and that is to network on LinkedIn. Now, when you're messaging somebody, it doesn't mean that you have to ask for a job. You just have to build relations. You have to tell people that you are in the market with these skill set. Not necessary that they are looking for a person. That's when you message them. So that's how you network with people and they will keep in mind that there is somebody with your skill set. So when something opens up, they remember you. So that is really important. And because you are watching till now, I'll give you a bonus tip and that is to follow up after you have applied for a job. So when somebody is hiring, they receive hundreds of applications. Not a lot of people actually follow up with their application. So when you follow up, what happens is that recruitment manager gets to know that this person is determined to get this job and they are hardworking. They really want to work here. And that is again going above and beyond than what normal people are doing while applying 
applying for a job. So always follow up for all the jobs that you really, really want. And if they don't respond to the first time, you can follow up multiple times as well. Just make sure that you're not following up on the same day. Give two or three days break and then follow up again. Hope you love this video guys and found value out of this video. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you have any video suggestions, write that in the comment section. See you in the next video.